I'm gonna demonstrate how to dye your clothes. I'm gonna be dyeing my faded black jeans black again. Hopefully that they look, to make them look brand new again. You're gonna need some hot water, a cup of salt, gloves, and afterwards I'm gonna put it in this color stay dye fixative to keep the dye in, keep it from washing out in the washer. So you're gonna need about three gallons of hot water you're going to add a cup of salt, let it mix, I put some gloves on so I don't get any dye on my hand, and I'm doing this in the backyard to avoid any mess of the kitchen or in the washer. You're going to add a black dye, I put a whole bottle, you're supposed to use half a bottle for a pound of fabric, but my jeans <clears throat> are pretty heavy. I'm gonna put them in wet. I didn't get it all the way wet, but you can see they're pretty faded. They're old. So I'm gonna soak them in hot water before I put them in the dye. Don't burn yourself though. And you're gonna let this sit for about 30 minutes. Mix it up. Stir it up occasionally. Also, I forgot to add a teaspoon of dishwashing liquid soap. So I'm gonna put a few drops in here. and continue to stir. In the meantime, you can get another bucket or tub ready of hot water. This is what we'll dip our clothes into, the color dye fixative to make the dye last longer in the clothes. I've dyed clothes without this before and it didn't last as long as I wanted it to, so this should help retain its color. Once you have your other bucket of hot water, you can add four tablespoons of the color dye fixative to about three gallons of water. The bottle says this is equivalent to about one t-shirt. My jeans are much heavier than one t-shirt, so I'm gonna add a little extra. Then you're gonna take your clothes out of the dye, bring it out a bit, and put it into the color dye fixative. And you're gonna let this um, sit in the color dye fixative for about 20 minutes and you can mix it around a bit every now and then. Now I'm ready to take the jeans out of the color dye fixative. You're supposed to rinse them after this and wash them but I don't see much dye coming out. The drip is pretty clear and if I do wash them I'm going to wash them with other black so I'm not worried about the color of the dye bleeding onto other fabric. This helped me save a lot of money on work uniforms because I wear a lot of black. Also, these are my favorite jeans, so I want to make them look brand new again. And this color dye fixative step is only necessary if you're dyeing cotton, linen, or rayon. If you're dyeing silk, wool, or nylon, you don't need to do this. You would have used vinegar as well instead of salt, a cup of vinegar instead of salt. Now I'm going to let my pants dry and probably wear them. Thank you for watching.